another edition of Survive to Thrive with me, Dr. Todd. Let me turn up some volume so I can hear and you can hear <laughs> doing some some technical stuff there. Hey, today we are going to go right at it talking about a concept that I love. Um, uh, and this is the concept of, of willing to live for something. We often talk about, and I heard this concept from uh, a friend, but uh, we often talk about what we're willing to die for. Um, and it's easy to talk about what we're willing to die for because oftentimes those things never really happen. I'm willing to take a bullet for my kids. No doubt. No doubt. Um, <laughs> I, you know, and, and I say that tongue in cheek. I mean, is this really something I, I guess I would know if it ever came down to that? And you would think that you're that way. So we get to talk about ethereals on the aspects of like, hey, I could, you know, I would do that. I would, I would do anything. I would, I would save a room full of children. I would die for this cause. And we get to talk about it because it never really is. It never really comes to fruition. It's not something that is, that is, um, I guess it, it more along the lines of the possibilities, the probabilities. It's like taking a good bet, right? It's like, well, I know this is probably not ever going to happen. And if it does, I die at it, then, you know, I fulfill my, my words. But the likelihood of it ever coming to my plate and having to deal with it is not. So what we do is we talk out our backsides and the aspects of that. That's what we would do. It's like being bold and then having to step into the ring and back it up. So the concept of actually being willing to live for a purpose makes you put action behind it. And we're coming off of a um, record-setting week in the fact that uh, um, there was a Kenyan that actually broke the two-hour barrier for 26.2 uh, miles in a marathon. 26.2 miles, averaging just over five minutes per mile consistently for 26 miles. Absolutely insane. But if you look at this person, they are 100% willing to live for running. That's it. He was willing to live, to run, to break this record. And this has been done before. Records are always made to be broken. And people have done that. That's like breaking the four minute mile. Was never thought that it could be done and then until it was done. And here this gentleman has done this. And there were some other records that I was reading along the same week. Like Messi was able to actually score 91 goals in a season. It had been done before. And so these people are breaking these goals because they're 100% dedicated to living a life committed to this cause. And we're going to give you a simple, I'm going to give you some simple tips and tricks today that might make a difference. But if you're struggling with a certain aspect of your life right now, that it's just like, ugh, you got to ask yourself, how committed are you? So this is in your body. Are you 100% committed to living out everything in your life to make your body healthier? Are you 100% committed to living out the relationship of your dreams, not just willing to die for your family, but willing to live, to step up and actually make a life that you've always dreamed of having for you, your kids, your wife, your husband, whatever that is, and what that looks like. Are you 100% committed to a purpose that is beyond you and a purpose that just does not serve you, but serves other people in the aspects of you bringing something that you have to offer a society, to offer this world? Are you 100% committed to your workplace, to your business? And these are the questions that you start to ask, is that, am I really truly living as if I would be willing to die for this, but turning it around in the aspects of, would I be willing to live for this? Because if you look at these people that are setting records all over the place, you look at somebody that is incredibly successful, in a business, incredibly successful in life, they are living off the concept that they are 100% committed to live this out. And some of the basics. If you're having some troubles in your body, it's likely because you're not committed. 
It's likely because you are not committed to doing the work on a consistent basis to get to where you want to go. And you're not committed 100%. Maybe it's 50%. Same play, same thing in a relationship. If you have a relationship trouble, one of two things, you're not committed to making like a date night work. You're not committed to taking this person out, engaging, colliding with, with that person in relationship, like conversations. Like how can we better these types of things, seeing their hopes, their dreams, their worries, and their fears. Yeah, you'd be willing to take a bullet for that person, but why not take it now? Why not take the ethereal bullet and do the work to make that relationship thrive? Do the hard stuff now where you're alive. Because taking a bullet would be easy. Because it requires no work. It requires no dedication. It just requires a moment. And it is in the day in and day out, as you wake up and do what's necessary, that you find the essence of are you truly committed? Are you truly committed to life? Are you truly committed to living out a purpose? Are you truly committed to your family in that the aspects that you're willing to take the daily bullets to be able to make the life that you want for them? Take the bullet to be willing to make the life for yourself? And I don't know where that exists for you. But right now you're listening to this because you're struggling in one aspect of your life that you've been less than committed to. Kind of half in. And so where do you need to rearrange in your world right now to be able to actually say, I'm all in on this? It's a loved one sitting next to you. It's a workplace that's demanding that you pour into it everything you have. It's your body that's failing you. And you continue to look at it and say, this has got to work. But you really haven't been committed to actually treating your body the way it needs to be treated so it could work. So the tip and the trick today is to recognize where you've been half-assing it. Where you've been just not going all in on these things. And this comes off a story for me that I look at. And I'm trying um, to create this new avenue to be able to help people. Help people. Help doctors on a whole different level. But not yet being fully committed. I was writing this this morning. I'm like, ah, we got to go this direction because the way that we were marketing, the way that I actually stepped into and started to talking to chiropractors was not committed. It was not at the level that it needs to be. And you can imagine the results that came out of that. Hardly anything. And I questioned myself, where am I at with this? Am I 100% committing to seeing this through? Absolutely. Am I willing to live for this purpose. Yes. And I come forward and all my actions are going to actually go the direction to show that. All my resources will go that direction that I need to make that happen. Where does it need to happen for you? And so the tip and the trick today is to look at where you are needing to be 100% committed in your body, in your balance with significant other, your kids, in your workplace, or maybe it is a purpose, a deeper calling that you've been denying for some period of time that you need to go all in on. That's the tip and the trick. Because in this tip and the trick, you will find love, you'll find light, you'll find that work becomes play. That people be become your playground. That engaging in life is so much more fun than trying to sedate and hide and not do the work that's necessary to be where you're at. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.